Two girls were staying over at their grandpa's place just outside Orlando when two burglars broke in. The scary part? One of the burglars had a weapon. The grandpa, Alvaro, was really shocked and scared when he saw the video. The burglars made off with a cell phone, a weapon, and some credit cards before taking off. That really freaked us out when we saw that. We couldn't believe it. That's what the police said. Thank God I didn't wake up when my wife woke up and walked out there. He said, you probably would have been shot. In a separate incident in Fort Worth, Texas, a woman dozed off while watching a crime show titled Stranger in My Home. When she woke up, she found out a real-life stranger had actually broken into her house. She tried to get out through a window, but the intruder blocked her way. Her loud scream scared the intruder away. Thankfully, no one was hurt in these incidents, but they sure could have turned out much worse. In Washington, two burglars broke into a house, forcing a woman to lock herself in the bathroom. However, they managed to kick down the door. One of the intruders even ripped off her necklace. Unbeknownst to them, the entire incident was recorded on camera. Look at that. Look at that, man. We ain't gonna hurt you. See the shower? Watch out! <laughs> The footage has since been released by the police in Everett, Washington, but no arrests have been made yet. Around 3.58 a.m., two guys were just hanging out and walking when a guy wearing a mask and carrying a weapon came up to them. This guy seriously needs to find a job instead of messing with other people's lives. On a Monday night around 11 p.m., a burglar arrived at a home on Bruce Drive in Paramus in a white SUV, showing clear intent to break in. The burglar tried several doors before finding an unlocked one in the garage, which allowed entry into the house. Once inside, the burglar searched through the mudroom, likely looking for keys or valuables, before exploring deeper into the house, even near the stairway. The family was home upstairs at the time, underscoring the boldness of the burglary. Eventually, the burglar found keys to a black BMW and drove away with it. Neighbors were shocked by the audacity of the crime, leading to increased concern for safety. It's dangerous. It is brazen. It's, uh, it's terrible. I'm sure it's frightening for the homeowner. Police have advised residents to lock their vehicle doors and ensure a secure division between their garage and living area. At first it was, let's see if the door's unlocked and if there's a fob in it. Now they're actually uh, uh, going and searching out the key so that they could uh, gain access to the car and pull away. Notably, the stolen BMW had been stolen before in April, with the key fob left inside, possibly making it an easier target. Two women showed up at someone's house, trying to pry the side door open with a crowbar. One of them covered her hand before touching the doorknob. They bolted when the alarm sounded, and fortunately, they didn't manage to break in. Besides losing stuff, getting burglarized can really make you feel violated, scared, and not safe in your own place. This guy showed up at someone's place and began yelling and kicking the brick wall. Seems like he might have been drunk, but who knows if there's another reason for acting that way.
Ah! After a while of kicking and screaming, he just took off. In Jackson, Mississippi, this guy appeared at his neighbor's house and did this. The owner took him to small claims court and won, but even after 10 days, the guy still hasn't coughed up for the damage. Now the court expects the owner to figure out if this guy works somewhere or owns a business, so they can snatch some wages. Is that seriously the only move the justice courts got? Three armed suspects, their faces partially covered by hoodies, approach a house where 12-year-old Edmundo Pena is engrossed in playing video games. Unaware at first, he becomes alarmed after hearing two attempts to break in. Edmundo rushes upstairs to alert his mother. In the bedroom, he warns her of the intrusion just as the suspects gain entry. I heard the first bang, and I didn't know what it was, but then I heard the second one, and that's when I ran upstairs. I saw him running towards me, screaming like, Mom, somebody's trying to break in. As the armed intruders move toward the stairs, the family dog interrupts their progress with loud barking. Startled and perhaps realizing they might be caught, the suspects decide to flee, taking a laptop before leaving. If they break in, we're just gonna have to jump off the balcony. I couldn't believe there were three men in my house. Edmundo and his mother, fearing for their safety, anticipate the intruders coming upstairs and prepare to escape to the balcony. They even consider the possibility of jumping off if the situation escalates. Authorities are still on the lookout for the three suspects involved in this unsettling home invasion. Two crooks broke into an apartment in Dublin, Ireland. While a mother was home with her kids, they ransacked the place and made a quick getaway. The homeowner called the police, but by the time they arrived, these crooks had already vanished. This guy breaks into someone's house while the homeowner is away. He swiftly gets to work, stealing stuff, but the homeowner, who happens to be eating at a restaurant, receives a notification and confronts the crook. After realizing he's been caught, he takes off. I had three cameras, one of them which wasn't working. That's the one he thought that, you know, it may have recorded him, so he just turned it around. It was a real thing and uh, it happened to me. <laughs> I simply told him, hey, you know, I can see you, just please leave my home. I think here's a man who is proactive, who used available technology to notify him when a burglar is in his home. So I think it was outstanding. I think his response was terrific. The homeowner calls the police, and he doesn't get far before getting arrested. This guy attempts to break into someone's car, but panics when the wife catches sight of him and calls her husband. What the f***? Who the f*** is out here, motherfucker? You got it stop! Since his face isn't captured on camera, tracking him down might be a challenge.
Show me the video. Nevertheless, let's hope the police manage to locate and apprehend him. A burglar targeted Jean Thomas's house while she was away. Having experienced a burglary before, she installed a surveillance system. When the intruder broke in again, she watched the incident unfold on her phone and promptly called 911. Yeah, hi, my name is Jean Thomas. I'm watching my home on live monitor and there's a man in my house and he's robbing it. He's just walking around and going in places and looking through things and trying to rob us more. I noticed that the house was missing a lot of the items that was there when I left in the morning. Unless we catch them in the act of actually coming out or actually catch them in possession, they get away with it. I want to know what's happening in this house when I'm not here. So I bought the video surveillance system. The police responded swiftly, leading to the arrest of the burglar. In Lake Worth, Florida, a guy comes across a brand new Range Rover parked in someone's driveway. He saunters over, discovers it's unlocked, and promptly calls his accomplice. Together, they make off with the vehicle. Although the car was recovered a week later, these crooks are still on the run. In Las Vegas, Nevada, this guy shows up at someone's house and starts burning a lighter in front of their doorbell camera, possibly attempting to damage the lens. Why are you by my door? Get away from my Turns out he had been scoping out another house a few days before pulling this stunt. Fortunately, he got nabbed by the authorities and faced the consequences for his actions. This guy decides to show up at someone's house late at night, acting all erratic and shouting. Things escalate as he kicks the front door. Come on! Concerned neighbors call the police upon witnessing this behavior, leading to his swift arrest. This guy arrives at someone's house late at night, and his true intentions become evident as he attempts to steal something. The blaring alarm sends him running. It makes you wonder what he was trying to snatch at that hour of the night. This guy's just wandering, seems like he's having trouble with his walk. Then he trips and takes a tumble. Seems like he's got some health thing going on, or maybe he's a bit out of it. It's hard to say for sure. This woman attempts to steal from someone's porch and break into the house while the homeowner is away. She even goes as far as trying to vandalize the place. The homeowner, who's keeping an eye on her from her phone, promptly calls the police and they catch her red-handed. It's a relief to see justice being served, isn't it? Two women arrive at their house late at night, unaware that they're being followed. As they enter, a person attempts to join them, but their instincts kick in and they swiftly close the door, thwarting the intruder's plan. <laughs> I'm a peasant from the future. 
1500s, and I just want some earwax. I need nutrition, and, and think of it as a free ear cleaning, perhaps. That will maybe do, and, and it's, oh, no, no, I got it, I got it. No. Based on his appearance, it's hard to determine whether he's a genuine intruder or if he's simply out of his mind. A woman walks up to a house, looks around to see if anyone's there, and then stares straight into the security camera. Even though she sees it, she goes ahead and tries to break in. At the same time, her partner climbs over the fence and gets into the backyard. They tried to steal stuff, but ended up not taking anything. They got into the house by breaking the window of the main bedroom. It's very concerning because, you know, you think you're moved into a safe place and it might not be so. Thanks to the security footage, they're being arrested. This guy follows someone home, acting all suspicious like he's up to no good. The guy's grandfather steps out and confronts him, and fortunately, he backs off. What's up, guys? Who's that? Huh? Oh, who was you? The original. Who? The original. The original who? This guy showed up at someone's place with a weapon, rang the doorbell, and then just sat in his car for a while before driving off. But if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. He was definitely up to no good. The homeowner dialed the police, but by the time they got there, he had already split. Let's hope they nab him. He seems pretty dangerous. A neighbor called the police on the homeowner's house, reporting a false claim that the owner was suicidal with a rifle, aiming to cause harm and receive a financial payout of $100,000 from the homeowner's life insurance policy. Please! In the late hours of the night in Las Vegas, these crooks are attempting to hide in someone's yard. It seems like they're either dodging the police or just playing a game of ghost in the graveyard. What's your take on it? At around 7.30 a.m., a guy rolled into someone's driveway. Apparently, he had left a little 50cc dirt bike there the day before and now came to reclaim it. When the homeowner and his friends spotted him, they stepped out to question him about trespassing and his motives. He insisted the dirt bike belonged to his younger brother, but the homeowner had already returned it to its rightful owner the previous night. What are you doing? You draw the dirt bike. My little brother. It's my brother over here. Cops are on the way. Things got heated and he got upset when asked to leave. The owner called the police, but the guy left. 
throwing threats about returning later. Hey, you back late. Nice job, dude. Hey, no pull your car on someone else's property. Especially when you're trying to get your stolen shit. Keep going. Ah, keep talking. Get the out of here. Just put it off the front, put it on the back, the cameras wouldn't shit. Go. That was correct, and now he's pulling on Go yourself. Oh, you're coming back tonight? All right. Good. He just said he's gonna come back tonight now. Uh, the plate number was K N M. K N M. K N M. He's driving college. The following day, the police managed to nab this troublemaker. This guy shows up at someone's house, starts yelling into the camera, tossing accusations and threats at the homeowner. When he gets no response, he just takes off. This man putting your hands on women. I'm gonna get you. I'm going to get you out of here or outside of here. I promise you. I promise you. Either I'm going to get you right here in the comfort of your own home, or I'm going to catch you on the street, or I'm going to catch you at work. I'm telling you right now, you better answer the door, dog. You better come catch these hands. All right, you ain't nothing but a bitch, bro. I'm going to be on this street every day until I catch you. I'm going to be on this street with my goons every day until I catch you. I promise. Doesn't he seem like a total psycho, rolling up to someone's place so late and pulling off that kind of act? In Tacoma, Washington, this woman showed up at someone's place around 12.15 a.m. She rang the doorbell and then started peeking inside, and honestly, it seems like she's up to something sketchy. I mean, expecting the homeowner to open the door in the middle of the night, especially when she's a total stranger? That's just crazy, right? This woman shows up at someone's front door exhibiting some unusual behavior. Excuse me. I'm calling the police. Um, I was waiting for a hospital. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I'm calling the police now. Are you? I'm calling the police now. Go away. I'm police. Either she's dealing with a mental illness, or it could be some kind of trap to lure the homeowner into opening the door. This lady strolls up to someone's house late at night. Initially, she attempts to cover the doorbell camera, but then she moves on to trying to open the door. Failing in her attempts, she eventually gives up and takes off. Isn't it satisfying to witness these shady plans being foiled? This guy just shows up at someone's front door in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let's see what unfolds next. Hey, is Peekaboo here? Um, is Peekaboo here? Peekaboo. No. Okay, sorry. It's unclear what his true intentions were, but according to the homeowner, the smartest move he made was to hightail it out of there. Seems like this owner had the Second Amendment ready, just in case. This porch pirate boldly approaches someone's porch and snatches a package. Despite being spotted, she makes off with the loot.
Excuse me, what are you doing? Oh my god. What the? Lady, you can't even ride your bike. Put my packages back. However, her taste of freedom is short-lived as the police catch up with her for pilfering packages from the neighborhood. This guy shows up on someone's porch late at night, definitely up to no good. The homeowner gets the notification, confronts him, and he takes off. Later, he gets arrested because he is attempting to steal from other houses in the neighborhood, and vigilant neighbors call the police. Dean and Angela Sander were going through a divorce. Dean had been storing Angela's car in his garage. On a Sunday morning, while Dean was out of town, he received an alert from his home security system and saw Angela at his door, demanding her car and other personal belongings. Hey, Dean. I know you're watching this. I want my car. I want my personal property. And because you've decided not to give it to me, we're going to have a problem. I've been storing her car in my garage, and she was demanding it back and everything else. Well, of course, I'm out of town, really couldn't do anything about it, so, um, and no way to contact her. Unable to contact her or do anything about her demands due to his absence, Dean called the police. The police arrived at the scene, but Angela had already left. But she returned again around 7 or 8 at night, this time driving her car through the garage door, breaking it open, but not managing to take anything. I'm going to jail today. Yes, I came back, I think around seven or eight o'clock at night, drove her car through my garage door, breaking it open. The final incident occurred when Angela came back a half hour later, ranting and raving before taking a couple of cans of gasoline into the garage, dumping them, and setting everything on fire. Comes back about a half hour later, is out here ranting and raving and screaming, uh, takes a couple of cans of gasoline into the garage and uh, dumps it and lights everything on fire. Surveillance cameras captured someone walking away from the garage as smoke and flames appeared eventually leading to the camera's failure. Dean watched these events unfold live on his phone, including the arson, while he was on a plane. I have flown around the world. I have traveled the world, and this was the toughest flight I've ever been on. His last action before losing cell service was to warn his neighbor, whose home is connected to his, about the fire. I was telling my neighbor to get out. <laughs> she was going to So, anyway. Firefighters managed to extinguish the flames by the time Dean arrived home, but the damage was significant. Two cars in the garage, including Angela's, were destroyed. She was here screaming, I want my car, I want my car, but she didn't show up to get the car. She came here to torch the house. Dean noted that he and Angela hadn't spoken for about a year and that he had a restraining order against her, which had expired in January. If she gets released, I'm I'm terrified. I, I, I won't lie to you. Um, I can protect myself and I'll protect everybody I can, but it, you know, if she's out and she's already done this and shows little or no regard for anybody, I don't know. Angela Sander was arrested and is facing three felony charges, including arson, aggravated burglary, and criminal damage to property. Despite her incarceration, Dean expressed fear for his and others' safety if she were to be released, given her demonstrated disregard for others. In Middlesbrough, in the northeast of England, a situation unfolds at the doorstep of a household. A mother dealing with fibromyalgia finds herself confronted by two men in what appears to be a harassing manner. Just then, a car arrives, and her son, coming back from football practice, witnesses the troubling scene involving his mother. Driven by the urgency to protect them, he exits the vehicle swiftly. The 
The son confronts one of the men and lands a powerful punch on his jaw, knocking him to the ground due to the punch's intensity. The commotion catches the attention of the son's brother, who had been asleep inside the house. Woken up by the noise, he hurries outside to assess the situation. Seeing the man on the ground, the brother grabs him by the collar and forcefully removes him from their property. This act of defense clearly sends a strong message that such behavior won't be tolerated or repeated. Three guys head over to a house at night, and the place looks like someone's definitely there because the door's all lit up. They try to kick the door down and are about to break in, but then a woman inside screams. That totally freaks them out, and they just bolt, running away as fast as they can. In Compton, California, a group of thieves decided to break into a house that was currently being fumigated. They swiped purses and a jewelry box before making a clean getaway. The homeowner reported the incident to the police, but so far, these culprits are still on the loose. In Anchorage, Alaska, there's this woman going through parked cars. Just as she thinks she's found something to snatch, the homeowner steps outside, startling her, and she takes off running. Hey. Hey. Hey, dude. Hey, Getting a job would probably be a better idea than engaging in such activities late at night and awkwardly sprinting away when caught. These two guys attempted to break someone's back gate, possibly trying to create a path for themselves to pass with their bikes. Regardless of their intentions, such actions are considered vandalism. These individuals should be held accountable and arrested for their destructive behavior. On January 29, 2024, in San Isidro, California, a disturbing incident unfolded as a man assaulted a grandfather outside his home, attempting to steal his car. What makes it even more alarming is that the grandfather had recently undergone hip replacement surgery, and the assailant callously threw him to the ground, posing a risk of serious injuries. <laughs> Allah <laughs> Allah
The family promptly reported the incident to the police, leading to the arrest of the responsible individual. Fortunately, the grandpa is doing well and didn't suffer any additional injuries during the ordeal. A dramatic carjacking incident was caught on camera in the Mayfield area of Caledon on May 15th. The footage begins with a man seated in the driver's seat of a car. Just as another person attempts to get into the vehicle, the driver puts the car in reverse, hitting a parked vehicle and a person before speeding off. The suspect, 39-year-old Calvin Peacock, is known for his method of stealing high-end vehicles advertised for test drives online. The police are on the lookout for Peacock and another suspect linked to the carjacking, described as a male around 5, 8 inches with a thin build and medium complexion. Three men were caught on camera opening a construction lockbox, letting themselves in, and stealing three cameras. The video evidence clearly captures their actions. Hopefully, law enforcement can use this footage to identify and arrest the perpetrators. A man pretending to be a delivery person approached someone's apartment and attempted the doorknob multiple times at 4.04 a.m. Fortunately, the door was locked, preventing him from gaining access. If successful, such an incident could have led to a potential home invasion. Late at night, this woman attempted to break into someone's car before deciding to enter their house. It appears she might be under the influence of something, or perhaps she's homeless. Either way, it's just plain wrong to trespass into someone's home. Some guy rode his bike right up to a house and just walked in. The couple inside managed to get him to leave without any trouble, though. Hey, what the is? Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Sorry, I didn't know it's house. I didn't know. Whoa! Camera, I didn't know. What do you mean? Why are you come up in our house, bro? Seriously, some people need a crash course in manners. You can't just barge into someone's place. That's straight up trespassing. In the York region of Ontario, a trio caused significant disturbances by breaking into various homes and stealing several cars, including luxury vehicles like a Mercedes and a BMW. The police have successfully arrested two members of the group, but the search continues for the third culprit. The owner of this house mentioned that a man broke into their backyard and stole various tools from two trucks. He kept returning, going through all the cars associated with the apartment, even checking inside them and stealing coins. He managed to take several bags full of tools before he finally took off. 
This video, shared by Nine News Australia on June 6, 2022, shows a snatch-and-grab robbery. A young woman is about to go into her home, carrying her bags, when a thief hiding behind a car suddenly leaps out and snatches her bag with a lot of force. She tries to hold on to it, but he pulls it away. She tries to fight back on her own while also calling for others to come assist, but the thief makes a quick getaway before anyone can catch him. Hopefully, the cops were able to take strong action against this criminal with the help of the video evidence. A man approached a house intending to burglarize it. He seemed to be either muttering to himself or communicating with a hidden partner. Fortunately, his attempt to break in was unsuccessful, and he was ultimately arrested, thanks to clear footage of his face captured on camera. The homeowner mentioned that both he and his partner were sick inside and not looking forward to shoveling the driveway. Out of nowhere, their kind neighbor took it upon himself to clear their driveway. Big props to this gentleman for stepping up to help his neighbors during tough times. On April 3, 2022, in Paramus, New Jersey, a notable theft took place at the home of Jennifer Aiden from Real Housewives of New Jersey. A 2016 Ferrari California, a luxury sports car valued at almost $200,000, was stolen. Known for its outstanding performance and luxury, the Ferrari California is a highly coveted item among both car lovers and, unfortunately, thieves. The car was taken straight from Aiden's garage, although details on how the garage was accessed, or if the vehicle was specifically targeted, have not been disclosed. The stolen Ferrari was eventually found, but authorities are still on the lookout for the individuals behind the theft. In Portland, Oregon, an Audi was stolen right out of someone's driveway. It appears the thief used some kind of key fob hacking device to steal the car.
Even though the culprit was clearly captured on camera, this person has yet to be caught, and the Audi hasn't been recovered. The person living in the house, who's been there for over 20 years, got a weapon eight years back. While he was having a lesson on how to use a weapon safely, some random person knocked on his door asking for cash. The man told them that he didn't have any money to give, but the stranger didn't go away. So, he called the cops and waited for them to come. Meanwhile, the stranger broke into the house and started causing trouble. The homeowner grabbed his weapon for self-defense because the intruder wouldn't back off. Feeling threatened, he ended up discharging his weapon at the intruder. He mentioned he didn't want to harm the intruder, but felt he had no choice but to defend himself under those circumstances. After the fatal incident, when the cops got there, they handcuffed the homeowner, and now there's an ongoing investigation. A mom of two, who was being followed around by someone she used to work with, mentioned she had a security camera set up. This camera caught the former co-worker putting a threatening letter on her car's windshield, saying he'd hurt her and her daughter. Before leaving the note, the stalker also messed up the mom's car by painting the tires pink and marking her windows with black X's and O's. She reported all this to the cops. The police then kept watch over her house to keep an eye on the stalker's moves. They caught him the next night after seeing him on the camera coming close to the mom's house, crowbar in hand. A woman approached someone's house looking noticeably anxious. She attempted to open the door, even trying a random key, but nothing worked. <laughs> It makes you wonder why she was so anxious. Could she possibly know the homeowner, or was she simply snooping around? If you get caught once and decide to try your luck again only to get caught a second time, well, that's exactly what happened with this guy. He broke into the same house twice. After his first arrest, they let him go the next day. Hopefully, a second offense will mean harsher consequences, and maybe this guy will straighten out his life. They say there's a fool born every minute, and videos like this one really do prove that saying right. In Moraga, California, a man walked onto someone's porch and stole an electric bike valued at $1,600. But the thefts didn't end there. A few minutes later, another guy came up and took an e-scooter worth $1,000. Even though they were clearly captured on camera, these thieves haven't been caught yet. A man showed up at someone's house late at night, clearly drunk, and attempted to enter. Unbeknownst to him, the homeowner was watching the whole time.
When the homeowner threatened to call the police, the man took off, but accidentally left behind a bottle of Jack Daniels in the driveway. Hey, you got the wrong house. What you mean? We'll just call the cops. Call the cops. Deal. Call the cops. I got a screenshot. Call the cops right now. At night, a guy tried getting into several houses in a neighborhood. He finally went up to one house where the owner caught him on camera. The homeowner confronted the guy, asking him if he was trying to get into their house. The guy said sorry, claiming he didn't mean to enter that particular home. Hey, what do you need? Hey. Hey. What do you need, dude? I didn't mean to run into your house. Who the are you? After talking to the homeowner, he quickly left the scene. Several neighbors called 911, and eventually, the police arrested him. A guy went up to someone's front door, attempting to get inside the house. Fortunately, the homeowner received a notification on his phone and confronted the guy. What are you doing? I'm using Vaseline. Excuse me? What do you want? Mm. I just called the police, so you better walk away from my door. I just told him I called the police and he wanted to tell me he would walk away from the door. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I didn't call him. I just told him I did. He was arrested the following day while trying to break into another house in the same neighborhood. Late at night, a man wandered into someone's patio, looking for something to steal. He used his torch to search around, hoping to spot something valuable. In the end, he left with some tools. Although he was clearly captured on camera, he hasn't been arrested yet. A guy wandered into someone's yard, obviously up to no good, not realizing the homeowner was watching him. Hey, big dog, you need to get the f in my yard, homie. When the homeowner told him to get out, he left. People like him need to understand that trespassing is a serious offense with real consequences. Manny Reyes's vehicle, parked at his home on 89th Port in Miami-Dade, was targeted by thieves. Reyes remembered his key fob was near the front door, a detail that played a critical role in the theft. Before 3 a.m. on a Thursday, the first thief checked the Escalade, found it locked, and then signaled a partner in a red hoodie. What the detectives say is that they're, these people are really good. First, a gentleman walks up to the car, pulls on the handle, and the, the car is obviously locked. The second thief used a device near the car's front window to intercept the key fob signal from inside the house, unlocking the car. They likely disabled the car's OnStar system to avoid tracking and managed to start and drive the car away within four minutes, unfazed by security cameras capturing their faces clearly goes up to the front window and that's where you see him pointing towards the window this this device and um, and trying to get trying to take the signal 
Um, and then as he approaches the vehicle, then you see the vehicle unlocks. The video, you can see both their, their faces real clear. If I walk into Publix and this guy walks by, past me, either one of them, I, I can recognize. Reyes was worried about potential personal information theft from items left in the car, prompting him to cancel credit cards and monitor his ID. Detectives informed Reyes that the device used is usually exclusive to dealerships and brand-specific, indicating a targeted theft. The reader um, told by the detectives that it is only you can only acquire it by a, a car dealership. It's brand-specific. Um, so that's why I didn't pick up the code from my wife's key, for example, so they knew that this was the car that they were going for. Despite the clarity of the surveillance footage leading to one arrest, the vehicle has not been recovered. A break-in happened at the Ashton Woods model home on Drover's View Trail. In the early morning of April 2nd, burglars got inside the house and headed straight to the upstairs living room. There, they managed to take a flat-screen TV off the wall. Security cameras in the home caught a brief celebration between the two thieves as they congratulated each other for snagging the TV. However, their joy was fleeting as they both found themselves arrested a few days later. A woman shared a spooky story about catching her stalker on video as he tried to take back the listening bugs he hid in her place. She only figured it out after finding one of these bugs stuck under her coffee table and another behind her bed's headboard. That's when it hit her that someone had been eavesdropping on her life, and it turned out to be her neighbor. it's really creepy to find out that your own neighbor was the one doing it. In broad daylight, two individuals tried to commit a robbery, one of them armed and brazen enough to open fire in front of everyone. The footage played a crucial role in the arrest of one of the robbers, while his accomplices remain at large. Two guys walked up to a car parked in someone's driveway and attempted to break into it, not realizing they were being recorded on camera. Can I help you? Once they figured out they were caught on tape, they took off. For those who might not be aware, the National Insurance Crime Bureau noted that almost one million vehicles were stolen in 2022. This means about one car was stolen every 31 seconds. A pair approached a car at night, found it unlocked, and began searching through it. Unbeknownst to them, they were being recorded on camera. The car owner received a notification and confronted them. Yo, who is that? Somebody not damn in your car. Okay. So I believe the car door open like that. Oh, one. So I think the door is open. Hopefully, these troublemakers will eventually be caught and arrested. This is a classic example of someone with way too much free time deciding to stir up some drama. This guy meanders into Sam's parking lot and goes at a Tesla charging cable with a knife. He doesn't manage to slice it all the way through, so he looks for another victim. Next up, he takes on an insulated faucet cover, which didn't stand a chance. What a wild card. Eventually, he gets bored, tries to put the cover back, nice try, I guess, and takes off. Sam's dealing with it, though. He's called in an electrician to see if the Tesla cable can be fixed or needs replacing. And yeah, he didn't just call the electrician. He also filed a police report. Sam didn't spill the beans on any follow-up, though. In Anchorage, Alaska, this bear thought it was a good idea to hop onto someone's porch and snoop around. Luckily, the homeowner had a dog that spooked the bear, making it jump and bolt away.
While black bears might go for swats or bluff charges when feeling threatened, this little guy just opted for a quick getaway instead. Mike got a surprise when he came back from work, a school bus being pulled out of his ditch. So, how did that happen? Let's check out the footage from Mike's security cameras. The bus driver was trying to turn the bus around but ended up going off-road, scraping the back tires against a power pole. When that plan failed, they tried to maneuver using a neighbor's driveway, and, well, you can guess how that ended up. The bus got stuck, high-centered, and to make matters worse, it was trapped in snow. On top of that, it turns out the bus had crushed Mike's fence, though that detail was camouflaged by branches. Clearly, the bus wasn't moving without some tow truck muscle. Whether the bus driver is rethinking their career choice or just had a bad first day, who knows? Mike did say the bus company fixed his fence, but it took them a whole year to do it. A guy, seemingly talking to himself, walks up to someone's door with a knife in hand. It's unclear whether it's some kind of trap to coax the homeowner into opening the door or if he's just under the influence. Either way, it's hard to say for sure what's going on. A woman, after finding some keys, attempted to use them on a door. When she noticed she was being observed, she chose to make her exit. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. What are you trying to do? It's reassuring to know she didn't succeed, and her intentions were foiled. Picture stepping outside in the morning and finding this scene on your front lawn. Jordan didn't just stumble upon it, he heard the crash as it happened, all caught on his security camera. Jordan shared that thankfully, no one was seriously hurt. The driver's dad showed up even before the first responders did, since the driver was from around the neighborhood. It seems the driver got distracted by something a passenger did and ended up hitting a tree. Jordan's just relieved the tree stopped the car from hitting his parked vehicles or his house. It's not the first time we've seen a car versus tree scenario, and it always ends the same way. Tree 1, car 0. A 41-year-old named Jose F. Moya Jr. approached a parked car and attacked the man inside, stabbing him several times in the chest and abdomen. Despite the assault, the victim managed to fend off Moya. A neighbor's doorbell camera caught footage of a man, believed to be Moya, running away from a car that seemed to be pursuing him. The neighbor thought the fleeing man was the attacker, and the driver was the victim. Following the incident, Moya was arrested and taken to Salt Lake County Jail, facing charges of aggravated assault, obstruction of justice, and illegal possession of a weapon. A person passing by noticed a balance bike left in front of a house and shamelessly decided to swipe it. It's really disturbing to think someone would stoop so low as to steal from a kid. It's just downright creepy and utterly shameful. A lady's heading back home with her dog after a walk when this feisty dog tries to enter along. Without missing a beat, she quickly brings her dog inside. The owner of the troublemaker dog shows up and retrieves it. Thankfully, the small dog came out unscathed thanks to her quick moves. In California, there's this big dog named Finny who decided to do a bit of exploring at the neighbor's place. After a couple of barks and a moment of hesitation, Finny bravely climbed the steps for a better look. The adventure led to a daring heist, swiping a long black boot right from the porch. With the loot in mouth, Finny made a quick getaway.
And just like that, the boot was history. In Chula Vista, California, this pair made the peculiar decision to steal not cars or valuables, but someone's recycle cans that they had gathered. Considering the potential charges they could face if caught, swiping these cans doesn't seem worth it at all. A lady who was randomly passing by decided to destroy a homeowner's wreath from their front door. It's disheartening to witness such actions, and it can be classified as vandalism. This incident raises concerns about the behavior of people nowadays, and it seems like this lady needs a reality check. Steve Ashton, whose wife, Anita DeBeek Ashton, is confined to bed and under the care of Claire Jones, started noticing that small amounts of money were disappearing from their home. This troubling observation led him to suspect theft. To uncover the truth, Steve set up his laptop camera to record the interior of their house while he was away, aiming to catch the culprit in the act. During this period, Claire Jones was filmed by the laptop camera as she looked over various items around the house. The video captured her selecting certain items and placing them into a plastic bag. Following this evidence, they contacted the authorities, resulting in Claire Jones' arrest. In Seattle, Washington, a guy attempted to get into someone's garage. As he was doing so, the homeowner, who was out for a walk, noticed him and confronted him. Did you need something? I'm good. What are you looking for? I was looking around. I think this house is vacant. Oh yeah, no, it's totally not vacant. I'm sorry. Realizing that his plan was being thwarted, he quickly took off. Late at night, a pair of individuals targeted a parked car, skillfully unlocking it and making a swift getaway. To make matters worse, it happened to be the first car of a 20-year-old college student. In an attempt to catch the culprits, she shared a video of the incident, hoping for any information that could help lead to their arrest. On February 3, 2024, around 4.30 a.m., four individuals clad in balaclavas, dark hoodies, and pants targeted a house in Dundas. They forcefully broke into the home, wielding weapons. Inside the garage, they set their sights on two vehicles, a navy blue Audi Q5 and a silver Porsche 992, which they successfully stole. The Hamilton Police Service is actively seeking information to help catch these suspects who are currently evading capture. Two guys decide to charge their phones on a homeowner's driveway using the electric outlet.
The homeowner mentions that they didn't take anything, but it still comes off as rude and a bit strange. It seems like they might have had something urgent to deal with, but we can't say for sure. A woman was walking with her son when a car approached, slowed down, and started following them. Fearing for their safety, she quickly hid behind a nearby truck to avoid any potential problems. Let's hope the mother and her son would be safe. This guy approached his neighbor's house and started confronting them about the position of cameras in their backyard. Hi, how you doing? I was wondering if you had a chance to talk about those cameras in the back, on the, by the pool. Who are you? I'm your neighbor. Okay. I was wondering if we could discuss those cameras that are pointing towards our house. Me with your problem. No, I'm coming because the cameras are pointing to my house and I have young kids. You know what? Why don't you have them on the other side pointing towards your house? You have a lot of nerve coming here to me how to mount my cameras. Yes, because they're pointing. I don't feel safe. Oh, you don't even know what you're talking about. I do know, no, man. The cameras. Hello? Hey. Uh, Hello? 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 And one's pointing down. Hello? You got it. Hello? 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 Hopefully, they were able to resolve their issue without escalating the situation further. There's this pair trying to jack a locked bike right in front of someone's place. They roll up with a tool, attempting to crack the lock, but thankfully, they flop. It's kinda satisfying to see their scheme go down the drain, but fingers crossed they catch some consequences for their move. In Anchorage, Alaska, a bear was spotted going through someone's trash can. Thankfully, no one was outside at the time. Black bears, in general, are shy and tend to avoid confrontation with humans. Nevertheless, it's crucial to remain aware of their behavior and take precautions to minimize the risk of an encounter turning violent. An entire herd of 10 javelina decided to meander through someone's yard and carport. Javelinas are social creatures that live in groups called herds, and they can be quite vocal, using barks, growls, and clicks to communicate. It's advisable to observe javelinas from a safe distance and avoid approaching them. The homeowner of this residence reported that some guy on a bike with a trailer stole our awning 
and portable black water holding tank for our camper at an unspecified time. The homeowner attempted to find this individual with the help of neighbors, but the person has not been found yet. In Las Vegas, Nevada, this guy shows up at someone's property, swipes some items, and makes a quick exit. He needs to understand that there are consequences for trespassing. This lady comes up to someone's property, messes with the homeowner's hose, and attempts to open the door. Fortunately, the door was locked. Seems like she doesn't have anything more serious going on in her life. This woman shows up on someone's property and swipes the ring camera. does that, seems like she's out of her mind. These idiots are just strolling around, trying car doors like it's a hobby or something. Nothing new, really. Make sure to lock your car doors, folks. These crooks seriously need to find a job instead of pulling off this nonsense. A guy approached someone's house, peeking through windows and doors, looking for a way to get inside. He spent some time trying to figure out an entry point, but ultimately couldn't break in, so he left. The homeowner reported the incident to the police, but they haven't been able to locate the suspect yet. While a guy from the trash service was collecting the trash, he accidentally hit someone's car with a chair. It wasn't on purpose, but there's still the issue of the damage. The car's owner is probably going to be pretty upset when they see what happened. This guy spots an open garage door and casually makes his way over. After lurking around for a bit and realizing no one's keeping an eye on him, he decides to help himself to some thieving.
he's clearly caught on camera, so let's hope he gets nabbed soon. This guy showed up at someone's door at 12.30 in the night and rang the doorbell, with another guy waiting on the side. Hey, who was that? Yeah, message to Don, please. Can I speak to Don, please? What? Is this Don? What are you looking for? Don. You got the wrong door. Uh, which door is it? You got the wrong door, man. All right. Sorry. They didn't stop there. They went around the neighborhood ringing other people's doorbells, trying to get into houses. The police got a bunch of calls from folks in the area and ended up arresting both of them. A couple decided to break into someone's property in broad daylight. They ransacked the house, grabbing valuables, and made a quick getaway in just minutes. However, their downfall came when they failed to conceal their identities, ultimately leading to their arrest. A guy rolled up to a house on his scooter and swiped some packages right off the porch. The bags he's carrying are huge, so they're either packed with stolen goodies or just a bunch of trash. What's your guess? Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. In Indianapolis, police were called out to a break-in at a house, expecting the usual human suspect. Instead, they found the intruder was a raccoon. Caught off guard by the unusual situation around 4 a.m., officers had the whole experience recorded on their body cameras. They surveyed the house and spotted the raccoon, humorously labeling it the masked bandit behind the break-in. Oh, that's nice. Well, we'll do what we can to help you. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yep. He's a big son too. Who's he in the corner? Yeah, he is. Dude, hey, easy, easy, partner. It's all right, buddy. It's okay. All right, we got a big raccoon in here, just so you know. Keep your door shut. Keep it shut. The raccoon was cornered near a refrigerator, and officers noted its surprising size as they tried to coax it out. Despite attempts to communicate calmly with it, the raccoon wasn't keen on following orders, instead climbing the wall and refrigerator in an attempt to escape. Doing pull-ups on the casing. He might be in the fridge, I don't know. <laughs> After a few failed attempts and a bit of a struggle with a broom, the raccoon was finally captured on the third try. Yes! The broom got stuck. Yeah, he got stuck on the broom. The Indianapolis Metro Police wrapped up the incident by safely releasing the adventurous raccoon back into the wild. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.